from Mr. Guillermo Farber, a very interesting article, published in Noroeste, on August 21, 2019. The struggle of the Mexican Revolution, had several decisive chapters in Maslin. The battles of the constitutionalists, against the federal forces, made Maslin, to become the first city in Latin America, to be bombed from the air. This event of May 6, 1914, was more an accident, than of an act of war. The artifact, fell on the corner that today are, the streets Carnival and Canizales. Four people were killed and several injured. One of the testimonies was that of a person who, as a child, witnessed the bombing. He said, that while they were playing in the streets near the scene, they saw that a black lump fell from the airplane, that was flying over the city. They thought it was a bundle of propaganda, in favor of the revolution, and they ran towards the place, where they thought it was going to fall. That was how they heard the noise, and saw the bodies of the people, killed by the explosion. In the upper part of the building, located in Canizales and Carnival, where now an apartment building, was later built, the workers of a shoe factory, received a rain of pellets, resulting in two men being injured. Don Alongina de Rivera, and Mr. Alfredo Zuniga, were killed instantly, destroyed by the explosion. Cosma Ornelas, being then a young man, who is now a dentist in lives in Esquinapa, was seriously injured, as was his younger brother. Refugio Almeida, today Mrs. Medrano, and Matilda Urquijo, and other people, received the impact of the pellets. Mr. Enrique Claes, owner of a haberdashery, miraculously escaped unhurt, despite being a few steps from the site of explosion. Mastlin was bombed from a biplane, which the constitutionalists brought among their war teams. The port was besieged by the forces of General Obregon. Near the temporary headquarters of the revolutionaries, in Casablanca, the landing strip was improvised in the marshes of Palos Prietos. The first days that the airplane was here, it was used to launch proclamations to the people. The flying device, caused great expectation among local people. Entire families left their houses, to see their developments, and try to obtain the propaganda flyers, while the police, dedicated themselves to confiscating the papers, that fell into the hands of the neighbors. Shortly after 8 in the morning, on May 6, the biplane took flight with the mission of bombing a fortress, located on the top of Cerro de la Naviria. The plane was manned by Captain Gustavo Salinas. His co-pilot, Teodoro Matariaga, would be in charge of dropping the bombs. The bombing did not occur as scheduled. During a maneuver, the plane jolted as it flew over the city. Then the co-pilot, accidentally released one of the bombs. That year of 1914, Mastlin remained under the siege of the Constitutionalists, who commanded General Angel Flores and Juan Carrasco. The accesses to the city, were closed by the revolutionaries. Food reserves, were depleted in the city. There were groups of people who tried to loot some businesses. The Chinese Wan Lei, who had the store La Paloma Azul, opened its doors when the people demanded food, and he only kept a sack of corn and another of flour, for his personal consumption. The revolutionaries, stationed themselves in the vicinity of Cerro Colorado, with the order to prevent the entry and exit of any person, especially federal soldiers. Where now is Gabriel Leva Avenue, was the main access to the city, and during the siege of the Constitutionalists, it became known as the Pass of the Death. Several people died trying to leave the city.